G'day viewers, it's Peter from my Bonzo channel. Not that long ago I did a video and I proved to my viewers that having a playlist will increase your views. In that video I mentioned uh, end screen, the importance of end screen. So today I am going to show you how to make some really cool end screens for your video and it just requires a simple template and I'm going to show you how to do that as well and then I'm going to show you how I incorporate my end screens into my video. So normally when you put end screens in your, on your YouTube video, um, elements in the end screen normally obscures part of the video and it looks a bit off. So by having a template, you can actually work out where each of those elements go on your video and it doesn't obstruct anything that way and it makes it look more professional. And just to show you an example of it, I'll show you on one of my videos. So we just put, Hit play, should we just need that what you want to grow your channel? I believe it is. Anyway, once again, this is Peter from My Bonzo Channel. So as you can see, I'm still in the video, I'm still telling people what's happening, but I've also got my subscribe bit in there and a link to Google's recommended video, not Google, YouTube, and also one of my playlists. You'll notice I highlight subscribe so people know what to do. I've also got to check these out so it takes their attention to the video I'm promoting next and also thank them for watching my video. Okay, so you also can implement this onto your videos. First thing you need to do is to um, take a screenshot of an end screen, like say mine for example. So we're going to make that full screen and then I'm going to take a quick screenshot. Okay, so just of the video itself. Okay, once you've done that, you open your favorite graphics package. Mine is the graphics creator. I use this to do almost anything. The graphics creator does my YouTube uh, thumbnails. I use it for my blogs. I use it to create headers and everything. So to show an example, some of the end screens I've already created, Okay, so these are all templates. I can change the background on any one of these. I haven't used all these, I'm still creating new ones because I'm uh, doing so many videos. I always like to have a different end screen for different videos because it just gives a bit of variety rather than having the same thing everywhere. People just get boring, get bored of that stuff. So, um, end screens have to be a certain size and just gonna open one up so we can see what the size is. Okay, so you wanna do it 1920 by 1080. I'm just gonna write that down so I don't forget. Okay, so with end screens, the beauty of having a template is you can have any backgrounds you want in those end screens. You just drag one in, and just by changing the background, you've changed your end screen. It's as simple as that. Okay, so designing the end screen. We're going to do a new one. So, a uh, new design. This guy changes. Okay. Nineteen twenty by ten eighty. Okay, so that's the size of canvas. We then import the screenshot that we did. Okay, so there's my screenshot. We increase that to the size of the canvas. Okay, so that, we'll make this a touch bit bigger. Okay. So that is your template. What you do once you've got your template is you um, introduce the elements that you want. So for example, if I uh, want to put new text, text format, one of the things I love about this is it uses Google fonts as well. So I'll pick a Google font. I know what it's called. So it's called 
N O S I F E R. So that changes my font. I'll just shrink that. And it's actually not the right font. So text format. That's the one I want. Okay, so you'll notice it's the same font that I've used for this template anyway. But you can pick whatever font you want. I'm just going to do it quickly. Okay, close enough. Then what I'm going to do is duplicate that a couple of times. And I'm going to drag one over here. Let's call it check this out. So to check these out. Okay, we're going to make it a little bit smaller. Just to see. Just spin it a little bit. Rough enough. Bring this one down here. You get the drift? It's pretty easy, really. So I'm just going to make that center, spin that a little bit as well, bring it a little bit closer together, the line spacing, shrink it a little bit, it's quite, all quite easy actually. You can change color, you can pick something in the screen to make it stand out, like say the arrow for example. This one here, you can do the same thing. Uh, we'll just make it a blue, roughly the same. Okay, then you want to pick the elements for where you want the videos to go in. And I already had some which I designed previously, so I'm going to import those. Okay, so we just shrink that. So it fits where we want it to go. Okay, there we go. Another one. So we duplicate that. That can go in there. Duplicate it again. That can go in there. Now the reason for having it in the right position, because if I had this one down here, for example, YouTube won't allow you to go any further than about there. So by having a template, it's already set up for me. So I know pretty well where it's gonna go. So the only other one I want is a circle. So I'll input, import another one. And I'll shrink that. Is that about there? Now if I get rid of my original template, you'll see my brand new template. And you, now that I can also see certain things which I have to change because it's not gonna fit. And I wanna put a bit of color on that as well. I can, so text color, probably do something bright. I don't know, maybe say red. And we would choose a background. So go into my elements. I've got three elements. I've also got 
elements I've purchased. I've also got ones I've just got off of YouTube. So just get this one for example. Send that to the back. Okay, and there is my brand new um, end screen for my next video. So when I've got all that worked out, I just save it. And I'll just call it gold. And it's gonna go into my end screen templates. So now if I go to my in screen templates, you'll notice there's my latest one that I've put in there. So how do you incorporate that into your video? That's next. So I just opened up uh, my Final Cut Pro and there's a template which I've already created and that was for my uh, Halloween joke and you, should like, and you really should check that out because it's pretty funny. Okay, so when incorporating a end screen into your video, you want to make sure that the end screen image is at least 20 seconds long. It can't be longer than 20 seconds because YouTube cuts your video or your end screen off at 20. It can be shorter than 20, but it can't be longer than 20, okay? So what I've done is I've, into, I've put my end screen into the last 20 seconds of my video. Then what I do is I shrink that portion of my video. So if I shrink my, myself down to whatever size I want, I'll then drag myself over to the portion of the end screen that I want, making it whatever size I want. This one can actually be a bit bigger. It doesn't matter. And then the other two bits will go into there. And finally, my subscribe bit will go into there. And that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed my end screen presentation, how to do your templates, how to design your end screen, and um, how to incorporate it into your video. So now if you watch this portion of the video, oh. <clears throat> okay, so let's just check out this last few seconds. Share it with your friends. The guy who borrowed my costume, apparently he didn't have an old hat all the time. And that's it, guys. That's uh, my joke for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Yep. And that's my presentation for this week. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with all your friends. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe down below because if you don't, you will not see my future videos, especially my laughaholic videos. I do a killer joke every week and you don't want to miss those. Again, Peter, my bonds channel signing off. Catch you later, guys.